So I'm really excited about tomorrow. See, tomorrow, my beard turns five months old. And that's a pretty big milestone for me because this is one of the first times I've had an opportunity, opportunity to grow a beard this large. I've done it a couple months before, um, but it just hasn't been the same. And over the course of the past five months, I've learned a lot of things. Uh, some good, some bad. And um, just seeing people's reactions and thoughts about my beard has been pretty fun. Even though you know, my grandma told me I was ugly. Um, it kind of hurt my feelings. Just a little bit. I got over it. Um, the funny thing is, the, the way I convinced her to not make me shave is I told her, Well, you understand, I'm just too cute without it. And if I don't grow it to cover up my boyish charm and my good looks, then all the girls would be distracted by me, and then I'd be distracted from my schoolwork. And um, really, the only woman I need in my life is my grandma. I think she bought it. I don't know. Um, I think I convinced myself that was true, too. <laughs> That's beside the point. But I have learned... Uh, a big thing I've learned is girls are a lot more shallow than people think. Almost every girl at this point doesn't like my beard. Uh, I hear all the time about how it's definitely time for me to shave and how um, bad it looks and how homeless I start to look. I think it looks great, but girls will look at pictures of what I used to look like and just be like, oh, you're so cute, what happened? Or, um, one of my friend's mom was like, yeah, Justin used to be so handsome, and now, um, well, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to see people's reactions when I show them a picture of what I used to look like, and, uh, especially when they're like, no way, that's not you, uh, they just don't believe what I used to like, it's the people who've only known me since I've had a beard, but, way I see it is, God is going to bless me with an incredibly uh, talented and beautiful and well-professioned woman someday. So I think she deserves a, a good-looking husband. It was my responsibility to take care of myself now so that later on, once we get married, she I'm, I'm still good-looking. So I have to grow my beard to protect my face from all the harsh elements and... Um, you know, keep it safe so I'll still be good looking later on in life. That's that's probably not true either. But if any girl is gonna like me, they're gonna like me for me. Beard or no beard. It's it's what's underneath. My face behind the beard. Another thing I has have learned too is um how easy it is to forget what you look like and a short amount of time I, I would never thought but it it kind of freaks me out looking at pictures of myself before the beard because I kinda don't believe it either and I'm, I'm afraid to shave at this point because what if I don't like who I am underneath the beard what if my face has changed uh, what if I just don't recognize and have no sort of self identity this is, Right now, this beard, it's really growing on me. Nah. But, it's just, I don't know. I'm kind of ready to shave, I'm kind of not. So I think, I'm not going to shave until my beard gets stuck in some kind of machinery. Well, I'm not going to shave until Jesus shaves his beard. I'm not going to shave until a bird tries to nest in it. I'm not going to shave until I almost trip over it. 